Hello friends and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to cover a process and a simple methodology for you to get started to start making 5k a month on building websites on the side. You don't need to quit your day job. You don't need to let go of that steady income, but you can start to work on the side evenings and weekends to make some extra cash for you. With that, before I begin, please hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you hit that like button, shows me that you got value from this video. Shows the YouTube algorithm some stuff, but it tells me you got value from this video. And secondly, hit that subscribe. We publish new content just like this every single week. And you guys are gonna help me fill up this space right here. You see the light shining on it. You're gonna help me fill this space right here. We're gonna put a plaque right here, a YouTube plaque right here, and I need your help. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm not a big fan of just up and quitting your job out of nowhere. I did do that a few years ago and it ended up working out really well for me, but it doesn't always work out for everyone. So here's my recommendation on how to make this come to life. Especially if you don't have a runway to quit your job now, this might be a better alternative in the meantime. Now, if you hate your job, that's a whole different story. There's a lot of other videos out there. You will hate your life if you hate your job. So my recommendation is figure out something else out. This video is not for you initially. This video is for someone looking to make some money on the side. They got some income, they're busy with school, whatever that is, but they want to make some money on the side. When I quit my job a few years ago, I was making about 50K a year at the job I was at. And with fast forward two or three years, I believe that was 2017, maybe the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. Yeah, I was just about there. 2019, I made $250,000, five times my income, that year off of website design. Now, let's not just note the big number, let's note the timeline. That whole time I was progressing towards website design. And I've learned quite a few things along the way. Mainly this, with a bit of determination, you can start making two, three, or 5K a month on the side building one, maybe two websites a month. One other note that's totally worth mentioning that I haven't said thus far is all these websites I designed were designed on Squarespace. So it's 80, 90% drag and drop, 10 to 20% code. And some of that code is really easy to learn once you figure it out. Some of it is just copy and paste and the code works. Learn how a hex code works, you throw that in, now it's your own brand color. It's pretty straightforward. Getting started could feel a little bit intimidating, but once you get into it, it really is not that scary. Now, one last note as we get into this video and the details and methodology that I want to talk about. This is not a video for passive income. It's never passive to start and you're doing a service. So I'm talking about website design as a service, not selling a website template or anything else. I'm talking about designing websites for clients for a fee. So this is not a video on passive income. Next, if you can make it happen quicker, I'm hyped for you. But this is a video that I'm recommending on starting to build websites today so that in one, two or three years, you have this side income that's coming in that's easy for you to maintain, easy for you to manage. And it's also discretionary. If you have a main source of income, you have this as an option. Well, it really opens up a lot of opportunity in your day to day. And the final note as we begin here, just so we have a clear sense of where we're starting. I did a few websites for free to begin, and I have a firm belief that the way you value yourself higher is by delivering more value. So if you do a website for free, but technically you should charge $500 for it, well, once you deliver that website, you could show the next person a $500 website you built. And then that person, you build them a $1,500 website but they only paid you 500 bucks for, well, they're not paying you the value of it, but you could show that value to the next client. And if you could speed that process up, speed it up. I am all for it. But I have a strong belief that in this process, you need to level up your skill set and your communication with clients and how you work and all of that. And that just takes time interaction and a lot of back and forth. If you want to speed it up or promise that you could speed it up, 
Some people, things are going to be more natural. Other people, it's going to take a little bit more work to get comfortable quoting a higher price, sending a proposal, figuring out technical details for clients. Anyway, let's get into these bullet points that I have listed. The first one is this solve problems for people a lot of businesses don't understand software they don't understand how google my business works with google ads with their website which works with google they don't understand any of those things or what they understand is very little about how those things work but the better you are at answering those types of problems the more you will get paid so if you're just starting out and you don't really know how a website works with Google, like what SEO is, or you don't know what Google My Business is, start researching those things. And here is the biggest tip of all. Like if you walk away with nothing else in this video, this is it. If you learn how to Google, like not just everyone uses Google, but if you learn how to Google and find answers for things that people are looking for or people are asking you questions on, you are unstoppable. Literally a lot of people struggle with this and they don't know how to find answers or they just get frustrated too quickly or they don't have the time or they have enough money to just pay for it. In any of those cases, that is a perfect business opportunity because you can solve that problem for them. And if they build trust with you, they're gonna come back again and again and again. What's so crazy to me is some of the first clients I started working with as a freelancer, I still work with today. Two, three, four, five years later, I have client relationships that have stood the test of time because we built trust. I solved problems for them at that time. At that time, I wasn't a good designer, but I'm much better now. And we still have the relationship. Next is this. If you're going to sell websites, you have to have your own website. You have to have your own website. You have to clarify what your services are and what your pricing is. If you're charging less than $5,000 for your website, Put your pricing on your website. Don't hide it. Don't say book a consultation. Show your pricing up front. That is one of the biggest questions people have because they don't want to waste your time. They don't want to feel rejected. They don't want to feel intimidated. They don't want to hop on a call and say, this is perfect and then get priced out. So show people your pricing, go to other websites, see how they sell their service and do something similar. Don't copy it word for word, but do something similar. Price the package on the number of pages that you're going to offer. Put together a list of deliverables. Be clear on what those deliverables are and what they are not. Over time, you'll develop that, but initially you got to start somewhere. So build a website, get it up and running and go from there. Now, one other note, do this in less than two weeks. Do not, please, please, please do not be that person who says I build websites and they don't have a website. Also, get your site up and running. I know some people who have really ugly websites, but they make a lot of money doing web design. You could figure that problem out later. Just build a website, keep it simple, show who you are, what your services are, what your pricing is, and let people contact you. As long as you do that, that'll be key. There's one other factor that you need, which is gonna be, you're gonna need a portfolio, but if you don't have work yet, let's go to the next point. So the next point is this, start doing work for free, especially if you are just starting out. If you don't have clients or you don't have people who could potentially use your service or you're just starting out as a freelancer, go find a nonprofit or a friend or a family member who needs a website. Can it be the most irritating and frustrating process of your life? <laughs> yes, doing that is so annoying sometimes. It's actually my least favorite preference especially for like the family and friends thing of building a free website for them. But what I do see to be very valuable is build it for a non-profit. I built my first website for a non-profit in Southeast Asia. It ended up doing them a world of good and it's what got me started on Squarespace. And then I ended up building a website inside my company at the time where I was working, which got me even more comfortable with Squarespace. I was getting paid to learn, which was cool. And then from there, I started freelancing. So you just need to get one, two, three sites under your belt that you could show off as your portfolio to begin. Next is this. Any good carpenter has a toolbox. 
So you want to make sure that you have a toolbox that you can go to and pull out tools to develop sites further. You need to understand what the limitations are of the platform, what works, what doesn't, what's complicated, what's easy. Some of that just comes with time. But alongside that, you do want to make sure that you have a toolbox of tools. Check the link down below. There is a link to my toolbox for building Squarespace websites that if you're going to try to become a designer, this toolbox is free. This toolbox is a great resource of all the different services, companies to pick colors, to design logos, to get icons, uh, all that stuff. This is my toolbox that I use all the tools that I love for building Squarespace websites. Next, this one is very specific and it was something that helped me a lot. So it might, might not help you, but this one really helped me. You need to learn how to do phone consultations, especially if you want to charge more. And the place to learn this, the best place, and it's absolutely free, is on YouTube, search the future. There's no E at the end, it's the future. Uh, Chris and his team do an excellent job. Chris himself does an excellent job talking you through pricing. What I learned that was one of the most beneficial things for me was getting to the point where I don't quote. At a certain point, you have to hit a certain number, but I don't quote ever first. I always ask the client, what budget do you have in mind for this project? And there are subsequent questions after that that you could use to follow up if they say, well, I've never done this before and all of that. But I learned all of that from Chris and his team at The Future. So I highly recommend spending time watching those videos. Next, try to stay relatively focused. You don't have to niche down and do one type of service business where you say, I help specifically yoga instructors or restaurant owners. If that's your niche and you're getting business, great, go for it. But what I wanna say is when you start working with someone on their website, they may message you to run their Instagram and to run their Facebook and to run their ads on Google and then to run their Instagram ads and then their Facebook ads and their analytics and their SEO. You can test things, but what I learned that complicated relationships with clients early on was if it wasn't a clear deliverable and I wasn't ready to commit to it, I wasn't gonna offer it as a service. I remember one client I offered them, I thought I was gonna be a king. I was offering them five, seven, and $900 packages a month, so it's a consistent income coming in to manage their social media. But there were just so many promises I was making that it was just way too hard to keep all of them. And when a business like that is just starting out and you're just figuring out what you're doing, it just leads to a cycle of a lot of wasted time and energy and money and false hopes. So try to stay relatively focused. Yes, I build beautiful websites. I don't build ad campaigns. I build beautiful websites. Now, this is your goal. This is your first goal. There's a rule of 100, which is for other things. I, I, I think we could call this the rule of 10, which it goes something like this. The rule of 10 is this. Build 10 websites before you ask any questions or try to change anything or try to charge a lot more. Build 10 websites, build a rapport, get really good at the process before you decide any major shift or change. It's really easy to get frustrated on website number two before you get to website number 10 and quit or try something different and then keep going and going in a vicious cycle of just trying things out but never really committing. When I started filming videos on YouTube, I told myself, I just need to get to 100 videos. I don't care what I talk about. I don't care what the video is about. I need to record and publish 100 videos before I decide what's next. And honestly, I'm at just about 100 videos and I am so impressed with the skill set that I'm developing and where things are headed on the channel and what I'm doing. Do I have 8 million subscribers? No, but I feel so much more confident behind the camera and where things are going on this YouTube channel. And I know there's so much more room to grow. Now I'm just talking about myself. I'm gonna stop now. But it's one of those things, set a rule and just don't ask yourself that question again. I think there's a quote by Michael Jordan. I made the decision once and I never had to think about it again. So set a focus. If you're gonna do this, your goal is to build 10 websites. Don't worry about how much you're getting paid. Is it worth it yet? Once you have 10 websites under your belt, you're a lot more reputable and 
there's a lot more behind your word than when you had one or two or even four websites. Final point here. From here, this is where you start to really do the marketing. You have a website, you've done these other things, you have a general sense of where you're headed, you've created services. Now, start telling family and friends. Go tell your classmates, go tell people you know, tell people in your church, tell people in your community, tell your neighbors, tell everybody that you build websites and be very clear about it. Know how to communicate about it and get your idea out there. Post it on Facebook, post it on Facebook groups, post it on Instagram, post it on your Instagram stories, post it everywhere. You don't have to do it at one day. You could update people incrementally, and just continue to remind people, I'm designing websites. I just did a website for a nonprofit. Check this out. Do you guys have any questions? Does anybody you know need a website? Things like that. And as a final resort, why not go into Facebook groups, say for example, if it's Squarespace, go into Facebook groups for Squarespace websites and answer people's questions. Say, hey, I'll help you figure that out. I'll do it for free. And you start solving problems, showing your face around, you start getting put into position where you can find new business. When I started and really started gaining traction, I got my traction through running Google ads. Now this is about four or five years ago where there was less competition and there wasn't the Squarespace experts marketplace, which competes very heavily for those top spots. If someone searches Squarespace website designer or Squarespace designer. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be as profitable as it was before. It may be, I'm not sure, uh, but it is something that I do recommend just focusing in on getting the word out. Distribution will be your focus. Once you've done these core components, get in front of more people, build websites, do whatever you can to build websites, more and more sites. That way you get a portfolio under your belt and you can really shine there after. This is what's gonna get you to that 5K a month mark. And once you start building sites, let's say you're at that point and you've built 10 sites. Amazing. This is what you can do. So you could start charging two, three, four, five, six, seven K a website. Get them done in about a month timeline and be able to really have the freedom financially where you work your corporate job or whatever your standard job is and on the side you're making this extra cash now if you're a mom this is so ideal if you want to spend more time with your kids but you want to make some money on the side don't get too caught up in saying yes to everything Focus in on one or two projects at a time. Be very clear about what your schedule is and how your schedule works. And a lot of people respect that. If you could deliver value, you follow deadlines, you will be in ideal shape. So if you're looking to make an extra 5K a month on developing websites, check out the resources down below. I am eventually going to create a course on Squarespace website design for designers. So if you wanna become a Squarespace designer, I'm gonna have a course that will help you create proposals, create systems uh, for developing sites, all of that. And I have other content that's already free online to help you get started on Squarespace. But with that, if you're looking for a resource like that, go check out the links below and subscribe to the newsletter so that when that goes live, you have first access to it. Thank you for watching. Please, if you got value from this video, even one little nugget of value, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button. You will help me get that plaque that will show up right here in every single video. Uh, and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.